Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Sync. In this video, we are going to learn how to install ELK 8 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And this is the latest version of ELK. And now we are going to install ELK 8 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And ELK means Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. So now you can see here some prerequisites of ELK. So firstly, we need to Ubuntu server with 20.04 LTS, then Java 8 or higher version, and then we need to 2 CPU and 4 GB RAM. So let's start. So firstly, we need to update the system package. So here you can see here I'm using mobile stream to connect my Ubuntu terminal. So now let's connect. So firstly, we need to our instance IP. And then after that, now we are going to connect to our Ubuntu terminal using mobile stream. Okay, now let's start. So now the first step is here. We need to update our system package. So let's start. So run the command sudo apt update. So it's done. So clear the screen. Then the next step is install the apt transport HTTP package to access repositories over HTTPS. So let's install HTTP package, sorry, apt transport HTTP package. So it's also done. Then now let's take the first step. So now the first step is install Java on Ubuntu. So let's install OpenJDK 11 on our Ubuntu terminal, sorry, on our Ubuntu. So let's install Java. So I can say yes. So you can see here, it's almost done. Okay, it's done. Now clear the screen and let's check the version of our Java. So run the command Java hyphen hyphen version to check version of our, of our open JDK. So you can see 11.0.14. Now clear the screen and let's check the next step. Now, if I scroll down here, you can see the next step, setting the Java home environment variable to define the environment variable, we need to open this environment file first. And after that, after that, we need to change the path of this environment file. And here we need to paste this below variable into this environment file. Now save the file and exit. Then, 
After that, to load the environment variable, we need to run this command. And now let's check the path of our Java. So run the command echo dollar and in caps Java hyphen home. So you can see here, this is the path of our Java. Now clear the screen. And now let's check the next step. Now the next step is install Elasticsearch 8. So the first step is download and install public, public signing key. So let's run this command to download and install public signing key. Okay, it's done. Then the next step is save the repository's definition to this particular location. So let's save. Okay, it's also done. Then you can install the Elasticsearch using below command. So firstly, we need to update system package. Okay, and now we are going to install Elasticsearch using this command. So you can see here the version 8.1.3. This is the latest version of our Elasticsearch that we are going to install on Ubuntu. Now it's done. So clear the screen first. And after that, we need to restart. We need to start our elastic search. So run the command sudo system ctl start elastic search. It takes few seconds to start elastic search. Let's enable. Okay, now let's check the status. You can see a active running. That means we have successfully installed Elasticsearch on our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Okay, it's done. Now let's check the next step. Now the next step is configure Elasticsearch. To make changes in below configuration file, we need to open this configuration file first. This Elasticsearch.yml, this is our configuration file. So here we need to make three changes. So the first change in network section. So go to the network section. You can see here, this is the network section. Firstly, we need to uncomment this network host line. Then we need to remove this IP that our system IP we need to replace with 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 that means any IP after that we need to go to the discovery section and here we need to uncomment this discovery seeds host line and after, after that we need to remove this host one or host two then if I scroll down here you can see begin security auto con uh, uh, configuration and here we need to replace with true with false now save the file and exit and as you know after changes any configuration file we need to restart our service so run the command sudo systemctl restart elastic search Okay, let's check the status. So you can say active running. 
it's done. Let's check the next step. Now the next step is testing elastic search. So let's test elastic search using curl command. So we need to run this command in our terminal. So you can see here, it show me the details of our elastic search. This is my IP address, the cluster name elastic search and version 8.1.3. This is the latest version of elastic search and this is the details of our elastic search. Now, if you want to access in your browser, then simply copy your IP address and paste in your browser. And our elastic search port number is 9200. You can see here the details of our elastic search and our version is 8.1.3. This is the latest version. So it's done. We have successfully installed elastic search. Now let's check the next step. And now if you want to uninstall your, your elastic search, then you can uh, run these three commands. Now the next step is install logstash. So logstash that collect from different sources and the data is collected is passed by Kibana and stored in elastic search. So the first step is we need to install logstash using following command. So let's install. So firstly, let me clear the screen. And now we are going to install Elastic, uh, sorry, Logstash. So you can see here, it's installing. Now it's done. You can see it successfully created system starter, uh, startup script for Logstash. So now clear the screen. And as you know, after uh, installing Logstash, we need to start our uh, service. So run the command sudo systemctl start Logstash. So it's done. Let's check, uh, let's enable our Logstash. And now let's see the status of our log stash. Now you can see it's active running. That means we have successfully installed log stash. Now let's check the next step. Now the next step is configure log stash. So in this configuration file, as of now, there is no any changes, but I'll show you the logstash configuration file. So this is the configuration file of logstash. And as of now, there is no any changes. So this is the configuration file. Now clear the screen. And now let's check the next step. And the next step is install Kibana. You can see here the next step install Kibana. So Kibana is a graphical user interface for parsing and interpreting collected log files. So firstly, we need to run this command to install Kibana. So you can see unpacking Kibana, the version 8.1.3. This is the latest version of our Kibana. Now it's done. Now clear the screen. And now we are going to uh, start our Kibana. So run the command sudo systemctl start Kibana. Now let's enable our Kibana. And now let's check the status of our Kibana. It's active running. Now clear the screen and now the next step is configure Kibana. So let's check. So you can see the next step configure Kibana. So let's open this configuration file to make changes. 
So the first change is we need to uncomment this server port. Then we need to uncomment this server host and the local host replaced with 0, 0.0.0. That means any IP address. Then go to the elastic search here, system elastic search. And here we need to uncomment this elastic search host line. Now save the file and exit. And as you know, after changes any configuration file, we need to restart our service. So run the command sudo system ctl restart kibana. And let's check the status first. So you can see active running. Now clear the screen. And now if I scroll down and the next step is test Kibana. To access Kibana, open web browser and browse to following address. So firstly, we need to our IP address. So copy our IP address and paste in our browser. And the port number is 5601. Let's check. So you can see here, this is loading elastic, that means Kibana. So it, it will show us Kibana dashboard. So wait for a few seconds. Okay, so you can see here, this is our Kibana dashboard. If I click on this integrations, and here you can see, this is our Kibana dashboard. Here are some features. And if I click on this, here you can see the analytics, and so on security features. So here you can see this is our Kibana and here, if I click on this, you can see the version 8.1.3. This is the latest version of our Kibana. So this is the dashboard of our Kibana. Then the next step is, if I scroll down, Now we are going to install FileBit. So FileBit is a lightweight plugin used to collect and ship log files. And it is the most commonly used bits because, uh, sorry, bits module. Uh, and one of the FileBit major advantage is that it's show down its parse, uh, parse uh, if, sorry, show down, slow down its space if the log stash service is already with data. So let's install FileBit. So it's installing FileBit. So we can see it's also 8.1.3, latest version. Now clear the screen. And now the next step is configure FileBit. So FileBit by default sends data to Elasticsearch and FileBit can also be configured to send even data to Logstash. So open this configuration file of FileBit. And here we need to make some changes. So firstly, under the elastic search output section, comment out of this line. So fun, firstly, we need to comment these three lines here for elastic search. So go to the elastic search. Elastic search output. We need to comment these two lines here. And then in log stash output, we need to uncomment this output log stash as well as 
this host. Now save the file and exit. After that, we need to enable the file bit system module. So run the command. Enable system, you can see the message. Then load the index template. So run the command to load index template. Here we need to enter our instance IP. So my instance IP is 3.0. One not nine one five eight point one one seven and okay. you can see the message index setup finished now now we need to start file bit then we need to enable file bit okay so let's check the status of our file bit It's failed. Why? Let's start. Activating auto start. So wait for a few seconds. Let's restart. Now you can see it's running. After run the restart command, it's running. You can see here if I clear the screen and now run the command status, you can see it's active running. So now clear the screen and now, now the verify elastic search reception of data. So run the command. And here we need to enter our IP address as well as if I enter localhost. Okay, here I will enter my IP address, that means my instance IP. Why? Because it's status activating, sorry, active running. Now clear the screen and now run the command. Port 80 connection refused. Why? It's enable file bit status running. Now let's run the command. Oh, sorry. Here after that colon nine two double zero. Now you can see here the output. Sorry, it's my mistake. 
the command look like this call hyphen x get http and this is my instance ip colon then 9200 after that you can see a uh, the final output this is the health status and index uid and so on and if you want to access in browser then you can simply copy your ip address and here this is our url and here you need to paste your ip address Now you can see your health status and details, so on. So the same output here and here as well. And here in this Kibana, uh, if you go to the console, and here if I remove this and get you can see here elastic search details elastic search is my ip address and cluster name elastic search and here the version my elastic search 1.8.1.3 so now this is the elk that means in this video we have learned how to install ELK 8 on Ubuntu uh, 20.04 LTS. ELK means Elastic Search, Logstash, and Kibana. So, thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So, please like, share, and subscribe our DevOps in channel.